Hey guys, it's me again, part two. Um, there's just so much rattling around in my brain today, I hardly know where to begin. Um, always separating it into two videos throws me off, because usually I can get everything squeezed into one. Um, there's been a lot of interesting videos going on right now, and I have to say that I'm so thankful that everybody is posting their videos and giving all their different viewpoints and I mean it really gives a person a lot to think about um, one of the things that kind of cracked me up was there is a, a video out about the extra skin there's actually several of them that I've watched recently um, and it's funny to see people's viewpoints on it um, I was concerned about that when I first had the surgery. Um, it was actually part of the reason I didn't do it years sooner because everybody's like, oh, you're going to have all this extra skin, you're going to you know, have all this issue. And it was hard to, because when you think of losing weight, you think of getting, sm you know, smaller into a swimsuit, you know, or shorts, that sort of thing, and you're afraid. And that's of the unknown. And now having gone through it, I like, I like how Amelia put it. Um, we won't be a new model, but we're going to be an awful good-looking mannequin, you know? The only person that I really care about seeing me naked is my husband, and I love how she put that. That's just a perfect line. And if he loves you, it's not going to matter. Um, you know, even now I'm looking at my leg, and in clothes, I'm thinking, whose leg is this? It's like small, you know? It's not very big at all compared to what it used to be. But if I were to look at it naked, I'd go, oh, it looks still big, blah, blah, blah. Because you, I do see the extra skin on the inner thighs, and I do have, you know, a lot of extra skin in the belly, and that's where all my weight was. I, I was lucky when I was a bigger person. I didn't have really huge arms. I was always muscular, so that just kind of, that helped, you know, and so if, I don't know if I could show it to you or not, but I don't have a whole lot of extra, I have a little, just a tiny little bit right here, closer to the, the chest area, but I don't have a whole lot. I, I, I just happened to get lucky because my weight was carried in the lower half of me, you know, and I will never be able to wear a bikini, you know. Um, I don't know what it will look like. If, if my husband's insurance is going to pay for it, I will have my my f stomach done. Only because I know it's going to cause issues. It caused issues before when I was fat. Having a hangover now that I'm small is going to be the same issues. Just Lily, get down. No. Don't eat the cat food. Sorry. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not worried about it anymore. At first I was. But I, that, that point that Amelia made just really struck home. Nobody's going to see me naked. Only myself and my husband. But if I look good in my clothes, that's all that matters to me. You know, and some things won't look good on me. But there are a lot of things that will. Even now, when I'm not at my um, weight that I want to be yet, I still have days when I look at myself in the mirror and don't even recognize myself. It's, it's just unbelievable. You know, what this has done to me inside and out. Um, my confidence level has is, is grown and I've had, you know, there's still that little voice inside that freaks out every once in a while, that plays back the old messages that, you know, I'm big and they're not going to like me or, you know, 
someone's gonna say something uh, but I have to remember that's not the truth no matter what size you are there's always gonna be people who don't like something about you and there's nothing that we can do about it we have to just accept that how we let it affect our lives is different though you know, I when I lived in Iowa, I was on a worship team at my church, and every time I went up on stage to sing with the group, I would have sort of a case of stage fright, you know, worrying about how I looked, worried about if I said something wrong, worried if I sang something that wasn't right, or, you know, I just was worried all the time. Now here in, in St. Louis, I'm on a different worship team at my church here. However, it's a little different than the one I was at. You know, the other one I at was a very, we were a very tight-knit group. You know, we practiced together all the time, and we were prepared every time we were on that stage. So my fears were unjustified because we were prepared, and we knew what we were singing. and. It wasn't for the people, it was for God. Now here I go through the same issues, only other than getting dressed in the morning before I go to church, I don't think twice about what I look like up there. And that's, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, you know? Me being smaller has given me confidence that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what people think. And, I know, uh, Diva Tana got me hooked on a, another site um, called SingSnap. It's like a karaoke site. And she has got me totally hooked on that thing. I, I, well, I, I go back and listen to some of the songs I did when I first signed up three or four months ago. And, you know, they're kind of tentative and they sound okay, but, you know. And then I listen to some of the stuff I do now. And you can hear the confidence in my voice. You can hear the strength, the, the passion. The, I love to sing there in my voice. And I don't know. It's just, I just have to say I, I'm so thankful for this surgery because it's changed my life in so many ways. And it's not over yet. I mean, my life is just beginning, and I have a bit of journey to go where I need to be, and there may be some bumps in the road, and there may be some stalls, but we're going to get past it. You, me, all of us that are going through this journey, we'll get through it if we just keep focusing on what it is we really want. And that's to be happy and healthy and be able to move. So those are my thoughts for the day. It's just kind of, uh, they're kind of there. I noticed all of a sudden they got darker in here. It's, dark, it's storming outside, so I apologize for the darkness. I don't know how to adjust that yet, but we'll figure it out. Um, I'll be watching you guys' videos and keep posting and gosh you guys are doing amazing keep up the good job thanks for listening bye guys